To hear your fate, you must pay, and pay handsomely. Hi, I'm Peter Haslam. I'm the uh, author, director, and co-producer of Fate Accompli. So, where did the idea of Fate Accompli come from? Um, we're going back some 40 years now, when I was quite a younger man, and a friend of mine um, told me about a friend of his who'd gone to a seance where they used a, a Ouija board um, to, um, to, to tell their fortunes. And they were all asking this, this board questions, and one of the people at the seance asked when they were going to die. And the, the person running the seance said, no, 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 you, you never ask that sort of question. And that was the moment at which this gem of an idea just planted in my head. And, I, and it sort of germinated for several years. And about 10 years ago, I wrote the, um, the initial script, which was a 30 minute film, um, and didn't really do much with it. But it's only recently, in having met Jordan in directing a, a, a play recently, that we have now, we were advised that it would be better as a 15 minute film. Uh, and so we've condensed it and have produced quite a punchy uh, psychological thriller. Hello, my name's Jordan Rising. I'm playing James in Fate Accompli. What drew me to this film is the way that the story plays on your expectations as, an, as the audience. There's a lot of twists and turns in the story that you don't expect and they happen at the most unexpected times. And there's a lot of th uh, themes in there that I can relate to as a young man. I think as a young adult, there's a lot of choices you've got to make and a lot of pressures as you move into adulthood. And, I re and from reading this film, I get that every, every choice that you make in your life carries a massive consequence. And my name's Jackie Bryan. I play Madame Futura in this wonderful film. She is a fortune teller. Um, not a particularly nice person. She isn't very kind. She has a bit of an edge to her, um, and she's quite brutal with, um, with her clients, so she's definitely one to watch. So, we hope you like what you've seen so far. Um, we um, are really reliant on people like you to help us bring this project to life. Um, as I said earlier, it, it's, uh, the, the costs involved in producing a film like this are tremendous, even when you try to keep your budget down. So anything you could give us to try and get this project on the road and helping these young people develop their skills and produce a thing of beauty would be much, much appreciated. So please, please, if you can, donate what you can to our crowdfunding page and um, we hope to see you soon.